Assembly election is in various states are just around the corner. Congress is all set to give Rahul Gandhi an image makeover. Take a look at how. After Congress's dropping defeat in Lok Sabha elections, there have been several dissenting voices against the party Vice President Rahul Gandhi within the party. The party, which got only 44 Lok Sabha seats, the lowest ever after independence, is seeking desperate measures to regain lost ground in the coming assembly elections in various states. The grand old party is reportedly set to give its vice president a makeover, as his image is of someone who runs away from responsibilities. The party's new agenda is to give Rahul Gandhi a decisive leader's image. The task of image makeover is already in place. Rahul Gandhi's aggressive approach in the Lok Sabha was a sign of that. Congress, though, denies any such plans. Congress is an ocean of workers and followers. So it is not like that, uh, that uh, Rahulji's image is uh, being criticized by the party. It is not one or two people, some here, some there. They may have some uh, other outlook about the matters. But there, nobody is opposing Rahul Gandhi in the party. I must make it very clear. There is no dispute about his leadership. Ab, you can, as I told you, it is an ocean of workers and followers. One or two places, some, one or two person may have some differences of opinion. That is quite natural. Rahul Gandhi has very great image in the country. He is the vice president of the party. Not only workers of the Congress party, even the people of the country, they have respect and regard for him. It was also speculated that the party is planning to bring Priyanka Gandhi to the forefront. Rahul Gandhi will be the president and she will be party's general secretary and Sonia Gandhi will be behind the scenes helping the siblings take charge. Later, Priyanka Gandhi made it clear that she is not interested in taking up any post in the party. This was yet another tactic move on the Congress's part to portray Rahul Gandhi as the sole leader of the party. Will Congress be able to give Rahul Gandhi the image makeover they are hoping for? Only time will tell. A News 9 report. Moving on, preparations for Nadahaba Mysore Dasra is on in full swing. A herd of elephants from Marikeri are all set to leave for Mysore to be part of Dasra procession. Here's a complete report. Jambu Savari is the most awaited parade during the Mysore Dasara celebrations. The elephants wear a grand look and walk the streets of Mysore, marking the celebration of Vijaya Dashami. Take a look at how these elephants are being fed. <laughs> Special food is cooked for them. They are taken for a daily walk and are being given a royal treatment. Yes, these elephants from Kurugu are all polished and trained to be a part of this special Jambu Savari during the Mysore Dasara. A troop of six elephants will be leaving from the training center to Mysore to be a part of this special occasion. Madalena thanda thali moor ani gado thava. Anand igale Anand Bari Ambari no thanta Balarama. Adar jete ke abhimanyu matto Varlakshmi Madalena thanda thalo oralide. Nantra Erdana Tanda Gopal Swami, Mate Mary, Matu Sarada, Bodla, Inondana, Inondana Namashiver in the Beriane, Vordade. These six elephants have been trained for the past one month and are being given a royal treatment. They are fed special food which includes six kilos of paddy grass, six kilos of paddy grains, jaggery with coconut, corn, red rice, and green grams. They have been given special training to be part of the auspicious occasion. ಹಾನೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಭತ್ತ ಹುಲ್ಲು ಸಾಗಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮೈಸೂರು ದಸರಾ ಹೋಗುವಂತ ಹಾನೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಪೆಸಲ್ ಫುಡ್ ಅಂತ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆ ಪೆಸಲ್ ಫುಡ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಒಂದು ತಿಂಗಳು ಮುಚ್ಚೇನೆ ಅವು ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಾನೆಗಳು ತಯಾರದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದವೆ ಈ ಹೋಗ ಹಾನೆಗಳು ಎಲ್ಲ ಇಡಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ತಯಾರದಲ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ ದ ಮಹೂಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಕೇರ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೈನ್ ದಿ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಪಾಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ದಸರಾ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಚ್ ವೀರನ ಹೊಸಹಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಲೀವ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ देयर ಟು ಮೈಸೂರು ಮಂಜುನಾಥ್ ಕೆಬಿ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ 9 ಕೊಡಗು Moving on with Independence Day just around the corner, the preparations are on in full swing. Take a look as school children and cadets dare practice daredevil acts on Maniksha Parade Ground. <laughs> Hey, 
The enthusiasm of these children is mind-boggling. They don't get tired and practice several dances endlessly. And look at this young kid. He has come here with his mom to watch them practice. And one can clearly see he is inspired by them and is following them religiously. Though his mother wants to take him away, he is unwilling to go. On the other side of the ground, the bullet riders are holding their skills for the daredevil acts on their vehicle. The racks are exhilarating and can make you sit on the edge of your seat. Well, they're all preparing themselves for Independence Day celebrations. The school children have chosen patriotic songs and have made a wonderful dance fusion. The songs chosen will move you and wake the patriotism in you for sure. Reportedly, about 10,000 students from government and non-government schools across the city are going to perform on the occasion of Independence Day. The Palike has allowed them as well as the bullet riders and cadets to practice on the ground for three days. Going very fine. We are practicing from last uh, four or five days, and uh, we are completely ready for the finals. This is our core team, SC Tornado, our, our team name, and we are performing uh, from 1982, and uh, we perform across all over the India, from Leh to Jammu, uh, is uh, Kanyakumari, and uh, throughout the year we are doing shows only. Well, there are just two days left for Independence Day, and Manik Shah Parade Ground is gearing up to host the day. So if you have not planned anything for the day, then it would be a great idea to visit this ground and watch mind-blowing dance sequences and breathtaking adventures on bullets. Amrita Patil for News 9, Bengaluru.